Ah, all right, so something needs to be addressed. First off, what is goody? It's your boy Rhino, AKA iPhone 11 Pro Max. But yeah, something needs to be addressed. So I rarely make videos that are like really authentic and raw. I don't think I've ever done like a sit down, talk to the camera like a like a normal stereotypical YouTuber because me and Noah just make skits and stuff. This is raw, uncut, super cool. This is actually me talking to you guys, kind of weird. So if I sound weird or look weird, you guys will know why I'm trying to like get used to this. But yeah, so let's hop right into it. As you probably read by the title, I'm gonna name or something like I let myself go or something like that and here's the situation so we just posted our vlog a day ago or today actually and in it I'm wearing this tank top and it's revealing all of my goods and whatnot in my midsection I looked at the video and I was like ah damn like you know I'm not looking like Arnold Schwarzenegger right now but it's whatever it's cool and I'm reading the comments and then people are like yo Rhino's getting fat or like I got compared to Juice World I think that was like the last straw for me <laughs> when I was reading the comments but I was like oh Rhino's getting this or he needs to hit the gym he's not looking good blah blah and and this is such a new thing for me to witness. I'm gonna try to keep this concise. I'm not gonna go into a whole long spiel. I was looking at these comments and I was like, oh damn, like I was liking every single like flame comment because they were right. Everyone, you guys watching this vlog channel, like you guys know me. I was like, they're not wrong. I'm liking all these comments like, Rhino, blah, 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 gaining weight, blah, blah, blah fat. Blah. Obviously I'm not fat. I'm not by any means like overweight, nothing like that. I'm really skinny, but all my weight goes to, I'm built like a deer pretty much. Much, where my weight goes to my midsection area. Let me give you the quick background on this so I don't sound like a little complaining, like little sad boy. I was in decent shape for most of my life. And then just recently, I'm gonna make another video about like my anxiety and stuff. I've been having really bad anxiety and depression problems, especially when I moved to LA recently because I was having all this crazy stuff happen to me and I was really stressed out with the channel. And what happened was I started to lose energy, lose motivation. I was stressed out with the videos and stuff and I wasn't taking care of my Myself. That's why I was able to birth a little Ryan Jr. Technically, he's not birthed yet. He's still in my stomach, but little Ryan Jr. Developed over that time period and we're literally talking about this microscopic layer of fat on my stomach But I think this is kind of a it's a bigger picture than just that So I don't want people thinking I got some body image problems like that is not at all I'm if anything, I'm actually I have a lot of good self-esteem But it was so crazy for me seeing that because all my life I'm, I'm called skinny 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 and then people see me looking like a little soft in the video It was very eye-opening it fueled me because what I look like now and what I look like in that video is not my best. People on the internet will definitely call you out for it very fast for it. And I was like, you know what? This is actually good for me. Like I'm gonna use these funny criticism comments. I'm gonna use those as fuel to get me to where I need to be because I wanna get back in great shape. I wanna get it to the point where people are like, oh damn, like I know getting kind of big. Like that's crazy. He's kind of like ripped now, damn. That's what I wanna get on. So to be clear, I'm chill. I'm not overweight by any means. I'm pretty skinny for the most part. But I just got this little bit a layer of chub on me. I was getting roasted for that and I just felt like it was important for me to tell you guys how I was feeling and where I'm at and then maybe you could take something from it. I say all of this to say I'm okay. I'm fine. I'm a big boy. Like I can take criticism. I can take whatever, any comments. So I'm saying this because I know there's a lot of young people that will maybe watch this video. I don't know, 20k, 40k people will watch this video or people who are older or my age might watch this video. People struggle with their weight and their body body image all the time. It's like something that, that's why fitness and fitness programs is so hot is because everyone wants to get better and in better physical shape like myself. So if you're watching this and you're not happy with your body or you've got the, the little rhino layer of chub, you're birthing a little junior in your midsection or love handles, whatever, take this as, as a sign to maybe do something about it. I know in my heart that I wanted to change and I've been trying to get back on my gym grind. I've been trying to do it, but I kept falling off because I had no motivation and I was stressed and tired and all these different excuses. But this this kind of made me want to kind of kick my butt a little bit and made me realize like, oh damn, people are seeing it now. Like you're putting yourself out there and people are saying some stuff. It, it makes me feel like, all right, it's time to go do something about this now and do it for myself. I'm not doing it because people are hating on me or making me feel bad, whatever, whatever. People highlighted in a slight insecurity that I had. All it does is make me want to achieve my goal of getting a really good in shape body. So thank you to anyone who ever, you know, who said anything, except for the Juice World comment. To compare me to Juice World, I think is a stretch. Anyone who is currently struggling, you know, maybe you're overweight, maybe you're underweight, whatever it may be. Look at yourself in the mirror, like take a good look at yourself in the mirror, do some self-reflection and be like, hmm, 
is this what I want to look like? Is this who I want to be? Do I want to be out of shape? Because let's say you want to be 400 pounds and that's really what's going to make you happy. <laughs> then go for it. That's great. But I feel like you'll probably have a different perspective. It'll kind of be the same feeling that I have about myself is you're great right now. You're chilling. It's not too bad, but you would like to be better. You want to better yourself and you want to get in the best physical shape you can be in. Let's take this as like a journey that we can take together. Give me like two months. I'll be, I'll be ripped and it'll be crazy. But whatever your timeline is, I think now is a good time to start and just go for it ask yourself what you want what do you want to look like who do you want to be how do you want to feel and go and do it and i'll be doing it with you guys i found that what i was doing was we'd be filming whatever i've always been not in perfect shape and i would find myself i could put on a big t-shirt a big hoodie or whatever and be fine and like nobody would say anything oh yeah you're skinny yeah yeah it's like i was hiding myself because i knew that that was my insecurity that i don't have no crazy raging abs like i said it was an insecurity for me i would just clothe that and almost lie to myself like oh I'm good. Like I got a big shirt on. No one can see. Everyone's good. I'm good. Yeah, I'm chilling. I gotta work out. I'm working out. I'm, I'm getting better. And you're just lying to yourself. And that's what I've been doing. What's gonna happen is this video is gonna come out, this uh, rapper in your classroom video. And I think I'm gonna get an even bigger onslaught of people flaming me, which is okay. Like I said, I'll be able to take it. I'll take it in stride. This is definitely a good wake up call for me. And I hope you guys can also have a little wake up call for whatever you're dealing with right now. I'm, st I'm speaking specifically about body image and like trying to get fit. That's what I'm talking about if you're feeling kind of like how i'm feeling like ah i really should get to where i want to be then let's do it let's get it right now the new year's coming up i'm not even gonna wait till no january 1st to start improving myself and work on my goals so that's all i got but i just wanted to get that off my chest so that you guys know where i'm coming from let's freaking get ripped get in shape get healthy that way we can have 2020 be our best year ever i love you guys i appreciate you guys i appreciate your constructive criticism i appreciate your support all that i'm here for and i'm here to grow with you guys and improve with you guys so i'm gonna get ripped in like bro three months so just to I'm really about to get ripped. That's crazy. I'm legit gonna get in the best shape ever. I'm about to look like Chris Brown before he went to jail. That's crazy. Ripped Rhino's coming soon. I already got a personal trainer guy. I love y'all. Peace out. Let's get it. Bye.